respect to a remote workforce, how do you get a single business unit that's in four locations in three countries to get along and work together as a team? With Zoom and other technologies like this, it, it's possible. Technically, it should be easy. But really, can teams bond without proximity? Once I observed a 10-person team that was literally in four offices in three countries, and they were super tight and loyal to each other, and even though they were in different time zones, they would often spend hours on the phone together. Now, you might think, wow, they must have a great boss. But you'd be wrong. The way they described him was he was the worst. Obnoxious, demanding, unreasonable, sarcastic, mercurial, just a <laughs> But see, the thing is, I knew this guy, and he was a great guy. So I said, hey, man, what's going on with this act? And he said that he was getting ready to leave the company, and he wanted to make it a little smoother for his successor, who was a very smart woman, but some of the international team had a problem with a woman as a boss. So to make her seem better by comparison, he started acting like a, you know, really turning it up to the level of comedy. And then she'd get things back on track and be the soother of upsets and pull them together, and there you go. He called his little gambit the camaraderie of the oppressed. The more they hated him, the more forgiving they would be of each other. I'm not suggesting that this perverse strategy is one to emulate, because even though the people on the team had bonded, a chunk of them left before the boss did. And even after he left, the exodus continued. Now we know why they were on the phone for so long together. At Within, we specialize in providing remote, international, highly skilled technical talent. And I can tell you from close observation that no matter where it's from, what makes people bond is the chance for a shared triumph. It's so old-fashioned, but that's what does it.